Hi guys, my name's Kareen and this is my channel if you don't know me for all things college related and also so I can document my senior year and look back at it and cringe or go, oh look at all the happy memories, but more likely cringe. Um, I'm making this video because I just got into my fourth school. I'm actually so excited. So <laughs> it's a little weird though because so I live in Minnesota and on my birthday, U of M Moore sent me a birthday card. I don't have it with me. It's upstairs under my bed. But it had a little bear on it, and it was signed by the admissions team, and it was just really cute. And I already kind of, I like the idea of U of M Morris. I still haven't visited, but I was like, you know what? If you send me a birthday card and there's no application fee for me to apply, I'm not sure if that's because I, I think I got it waived. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply to your school. You sent me a signed birthday card, which my actual friends didn't even do. So, shout out to Yvonne Morris for that. Um, but the weird thing is, I didn't know, and this is something that if you're a person who's, if you're younger than me, um, or you could be older than me too. If you're a grade younger than me, or several grades younger than me, if you're not a senior, um, this is definitely something to be aware of, that transcripts... Not all schools will take your transcripts. You'll have to send your school. Most schools, you'll have to send your transcript. And so I sent in my transcript to U of M and U of M Morris. U of Minnesota. I guess I shouldn't say U of M because it sounds like I'm talking about University of Michigan to non-Minnesotans. U of M N Morris. And it cost me $5 to send each transcript. And I thought that they would take it. Ha ha ha. I was wrong. You have to self-report your scores. And seeing as I have not had the best high school journey, and I don't want to relive all the memories that led to me getting the grades that I got in the classes that I got those grades in, I was like, I don't really want to sit down for an hour and type out every single class that I have taken as a high school student and what grade I received in that class, because that does not sound like a fun time to me. And so I did not end up doing that before the deadline. That they told me that I had to do it by, but I was like, okay, if my application gets moved to regular decision, so be it. U of M Morris, although I like it, it is a safety, it's not my top choice. And U of M, I don't want to go there, it's too big, my parent, my father is just forcing me to apply. So it's like, if it gets moved to regular decision, oh well, like, it's not the end of the world. So I get a call from this weird number, and I answer it. And I'm thinking, like, what on earth is this call? I'm thinking maybe it's a scam call. Maybe it's a call from a college about something I'm missing. And the person goes, hi, this is so-and-so from Uva Morris. And I almost said, oh, is this about my unf unfilled out, like, self-reporting transcript? And I, to be perfectly honest, I'm not 100% sure that I self-reported my ACT score for them either. I might have and just forgotten about it, but I don't remember doing that. So, but I was like is this about my transcript? And she, I didn't say that. I was thinking it. I was like, this has to be about my transcript. And she goes, I, I'm pleased to to congratulate you on your admission into U of M. Morris. And I'm like, what, 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 what? So this is the second time that I've thought that I was missing something and I got in and didn't know it. Um, So I caught the second part of that call on video. So that will be at my end of the year wrap up video. Um, but yeah, so that was a super weird way to get into a school that I thought I am still missing a part of it. This I think this just means that they accepted my transcripts. And so I know I received one scholarship and then she she said that I'd be like in the running for another one, which in required two interviews, which personally I love interviews because I love talking about myself in case you can't tell by the fact that I have a YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> so I guess I shouldn't say I love talking about myself. I'm a lot better at expressing myself in person as opposed to writing essays about myself, although I am good at writing essays about myself. So, but yeah, so yay, 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 four schools down. <laughs> and I applied to Grinnell last night, which is a thing that I did. Um, so yeah, so we have applied to 10 schools thus far. We have Five, maybe six. I think I'll apply to Colby because it doesn't hurt to apply to Colby. And I think they're a cool school. So, and they also have a, a no loan policy, which is so nice. But yeah, so that many colleges down. Woo -woo! Sorry, 10 colleges down. 10 colleges applied for, six more to apply to. Four, four colleges in. I've been accepted to four colleges. I've been accepted to four colleges. If you haven't seen my other videos, they are Gustavus, Hamlin, 
Earlum, and Yuva Morris. So yeah.